What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I've got another incredibly important AMC update to bring all of you this evening. So this is probably one of the videos that I am most excited to make. We have so much great information to cover in this video. It's unbelievable. We just received the shareholder count for AMC shareholders. We are going to cover that in full and exactly what that means for our situation. We're going to do uh, some very simple math to see how many shares each individual shareholder would have to own for us to own the entire float. Now, a brief spoiler, this number is extremely small. We also have Ortex coming out and confirming exactly what I have been saying over the past couple of weeks that the short interest data that we are looking at is not accurate at all and they have just come out and made a statement confirming exactly what i have been telling you guys as well now i've also seen some comments on my previous videos that you guys want me to go over one of the board of directors of the DTCC. He actually works for Citadel, but we're going to kind of uh, take out the FUD eraser for, for this situation and just explain why that is not uh, such a big deal. So before we get into all of that information, if you guys enjoyed the information and analysis that I provide for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps me out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people as possible. And the more people people that we have learning about up-to-date and accurate information about AMC, the stronger our community becomes. Our community actually just became about a million people stronger since March. So when we're looking at the chart of AMC, uh, we did not have a very strong day today. We are kind of consolidating around this $50 mark. We really ripped up a lot over the last couple of weeks, and we do need to take a little bit of a breather before that next leg up. Now, when we come over to this first page that I want to go over. AMC Entertainment Holdings announces shareholder count. As previously disclosed, there were 501 million shares outstanding as of June 2nd, 2021. The record date for the shareholder meeting uh, scheduled for July uh, 29th, 2021. So as of June 2nd, there were approximately 4.1 million individual shareholders eligible to vote at the up upcoming shareholder meeting. Now, the reason why this is so important is because the current outstanding shares of AMC is about 513 million shares. When you divide that by the 4.2 or 4.1 million shareholders, you get an amount and the number that you receive is 125. That is the amount of shares on average that every single ape would need to own in order to own the entire float and uh, or not the entire float, the entire shares outstanding for AMC. Now, I would speculate that the average uh, uh, at the average amount of shares of AMC shareholders is much greater than 125. This would mean that we most likely own over uh, the amount of shares that are actually supposed to be out on the market at the current time. This would almost prove that there is naked shorting going on with this stock and just makes this short squeeze situation even better for us as AMC shareholders. So this is great news. If you guys heard me say in my last video not to get too hyped up um, about this shareholder count, um, I still stand by that statement. Uh, if we did not receive good news, I would have still made a video about the, the actual amount of individual shares shareholders but the fact that we got about a million more shareholders uh since march is just icing on the cake for this situation now coming over to this ortex tweet so we can see here the exchange reported short interest for may 28th the exchange is reporting short interest in amc as 102.3 million shares this is a larger number than expected and indicates a higher than anticipated short interest in amc the unexpectedly high short interest implies that the shares returned in this period were atypically not shorted shares, but instead shares that were borrowed but not shorted. This is exactly one of the ways that I have been telling you guys that the funds in the different institutions have been manipulating our data. And the data that we can look at is actually still up on Ortex for us to see. It has not been updated yet. So before we get into that, uh, we can see the settlement date for, for this actual uh, exchange reported short interest was May 28th, and it was reported today with 102.3 million shares sold short, and the short interest now as a percentage of the free flow is all the way back up to 20%. But 
Remember, this is only the reported data. Now let's get into exactly how uh, this second tweet right here, the unexpectedly high short interest implies that the shares returned in this period were not shorted. So when we look at this Ortex data, the shares on loan were about 87 million. The percentage of the free flow on loan is about 17.5%, meaning that we have about 87, uh, 87 million shares that are out on loan, and they essentially do a little calculation to see what percentage that is of the free flow. Now, the short interest as a percentage of the free flow, according to Ortex's uh, previous data, is only 11%, meaning that there is that about 6% spread of shares that have been loaned out to these institutions that they have not even shorted. So when they see the stock massively starting to, to rally up, they could just come out and basically return shares in bulk that they were not even shorting to make it look like they are starting to cover their positions. I am so excited that we finally received a confirmation about this. This is something that I have been speculating on over the last week. And I honestly am very happy that we are finally receiving this data. But again, I, I don't want to put any blame on Ortex because this is not their fault. Ortex is an honest company getting their information from dishonest individuals or entities. So if you guys remember, um, so, so also... Ortex gets their information from S&P Global. If you remember back in 2008, S&P was one of the ratings agencies that was giving those bonds a higher rating than they actually deserve. So I do really do not trust any of the information that we are seeing from these institutions. But Ortex does a great job of actually giving us the data in a very clean to understand way. The only problem is, is that the data that they are receiving is not necessarily accurate. Now, there's another way uh, that, that the funds can actually manipulate this data, which I would not, um, I would not be surprised at all if they were doing this. So what they can do in order to make it look like they have covered is they can sell deep in the money options and buy a synthetic long, uh, sh uh, the basically synthetic long shares from the market maker. Now the market maker holds these synthetic longs as part of their, their hedging process. They have a legal um, ability to do a version of naked shorting as a part of their hedging process. So when the hedge funds do this, it makes it look like they have covered when in reality they have not. Now, when we come over to this, this is something that a lot of you guys have been bringing up. So David Ings is on the board of directors of the DTCC. He also works at Citadel. Here's why, in my opinion, this is not a big deal at all. So Citadel is a massive entity in the financial markets. The DTCC is essentially a regulatory institution, a big clearinghouse that kind of runs everything behind the scenes. Now, since Citadel is so big, obviously they're going to have people who are talking with Citadel. And at the same time, this one individual, David Ings, is not going to be able to stop the situation that we have on hand. In my uh, honest opinion, I do think that the mother of all short squeezes is right around the corner. So I wouldn't really pay much attention to this. I don't really see it as a big deal. So that is going to conclude this update for AMC. If you guys enjoyed the information and analysis that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps me out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people as possible. And the more people that we get staying up to date on accurate information for AMC, the stronger our community comes. So I hope you guys had a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.